This will serve as a short explainer video for the products shown on our store page. Let's open one of our more popular template libraries, the Apartments. Because this is the full template, it gives access to three different apartment types, as well as all the families listed within them, a couple of extras, and a tutorial. If we switch over to 3D view, we can get a better idea of what we're working with. Over here we have the smallest apartment. As you can see, everything has been modeled out in full 3D. Please note that in our content, every single family has been thoroughly checked through and worked over from the ground up. So you should expect no errors or faults in the file, and you should expect every family to be 100% parametric. If we were to take the bed, for instance, the bed is currently set as a Euro double. It's a smaller type. The bed has the custom settings for various beds, which can be instantly changed. And the same holds true for everything within this family. The cupboard, for instance, is another good example. There are a number of cupboards pre-created for you. You can even get a cupboard with no doors, for instance, so just the shelving. And then, once again, you are welcome to set the settings as you like. You can add doors, remove doors to your leisure. If we move on down to look at the families, we've used nothing but the best families here in an attempt to save time and space. Let's look at this table, for instance. You might think these are different table families, and of course, six different table families would take up space in your model, create slower work time, and just make the model generally more difficult to work with in terms of coordination, scheduling, and so forth. Actually, this is all the same table. We've loaded a few preset sizes for you to use, but all the settings are displayed within the model, so you can add bottom chair, top chair, left chair, and so forth. As you drop the size of the table, the chairs adjust accordingly. You can even change the chair types if you like, straight from your project without even opening the family. All of our families have been laid out like this. For instance, your lounge can be instantly created from one family. You can have simply a sofa, or you can switch it to a coffee table without a sofa. Or you can add a floor lamp. Our parametric carpet is quite simple. However, it's made for ease of use, as you can simply stretch it as you need it. You'll find various other families available in here, from kitchen appliances to sanitary equipment, floors, doors and windows. One of our most exciting features is the kitchen template. These three kitchens over here are actually the same family and the same type. This kitchen has just been tweaked to allow for various options to be set on and off. For instance, extractor visible, end cupboard visible. This allows for the use of one single family to be copied over a dozen times within a project and be used for various uses without taking up any extra space. If you'd like to understand how to do this yourself, we do include a tutorial explaining to you how this works. There are further descriptions with images and text on how to edit the families and templates accordingly. So this is a better description of the second unit's kitchen type. Again, these are all three, four different kitchen types. However, in this one, it's a galley kitchen with a fridge included. This one excludes the fridge, but retains the galley and some bar stools. And these are simple portions to be used as you need. The third apartment has yet another different kitchen with even more settings. Here you can choose to display various cupboard units or hide as you see fit. And then finally, we have a number of extra families that we feel you might find useful. Let's move on to floors. Here we have an overview of all floors contained within the model. We have 129 different floor types to be used. Once again, we have a tutorial taking you through the various sections. And as you'll see here, each floor has been set up with the relevant BIM data. So if you open up this floor, you'll notice a keynote has been assigned, description has been added for your floor, and a type mark has been inserted. This means these floors can be dropped straight into your model with the correct settings. And if you were to schedule or notate the floor as shown over here, it can be done with a click of a button. Of course, you'll probably want to change the notes slightly. With all this information filled in, it's really easy for you to just change according to what you need 
with all the presets if you need them, as well as the keynotes loaded. The tutorial expands below on everything you might need if you're still starting out. How to change floors, edit materials, and everything you might need to know to create floors as you see on the right. It also expands a bit on how you can use more advanced settings like parts to create different floor displays and functions. Our floor types are rather simply grouped into structure, structure and substrate, various structures, substrate and finish, three in one, or finish and substrate, finish only, and more advanced structures with substrate and finish. If you open up a 3D view, you can get a better look at the floor templates that we're working with and the detail that exists within them. You'll notice all the materials are set up correctly with hatch patterns, colors, and a realistic finish. As you can see, this rather complex floor has been set up with all the various elements shown over here and laminated wood as a finish, for example, has been set up to be shaded with a nice tan Pantone finish, horizontal lines as a surface pattern at 100 millimeters, which can be changed, and the cut pattern to show wood as if it were cut through. If you want to change your pattern, for example, there are various patterns loaded for you to change in both model and drafting view. This is all supplied to you as part of the template. You can also switch over to realistic view and rest assured that every item has been set up to have the correct appearance, be it concrete, timber, stone, brick, or other. Our walls are a similar affair. Here we have 77 different wall types, along with 44 different curtain panels and mullion types included. Once again, we have the in-depth tutorial explaining to you how your wall works, the various settings that have been loaded. The walls have been grouped according to masonry, concrete, CMU, timber, glazing and aluminium, and various other. You'll notice they've been given the correct amount of detail required, and as you change the scale accordingly, they will adjust. If we're going to a 3D view, the walls will display as you would want them to in a shaded view with various elevational hatch patterns. If you go into a 3D cut view, for instance, you can see that the walls work as you would expect. We do provide a large number of curtain walls, including the glazing and the mullions, with a number of different presets for you to just plug and play. If you go into the realistic view, you would see your walls as you would expect, with timber, siding, earth, stone, and more. Finally, let's move on to doors. You will note 133 different door types with various curtain panels and wall grids. We've organized our doors into single, double, garage, roller, shutter, speciality, and paneled, sliding, closing, and stacking, and other. We've also included curtain panels to be inserted into curtain walls and various accessories you may want to add to your doors such as latches, levers, kick plates, door swings and so forth. You're provided with an easy tutorial of how you can turn one door type, like this one, into four different door types as displayed in front of you without load extra families. The tutorial continues about everything you need to know with doors and becomes a bit more complex later on. If we switch over to 3D views, you'll notice our doors are all displaying as would be expected. They are neatly organized and labeled, and of course each door has been checked to be working perfectly. Please note we are currently building out a full window template, as well as other pre-made template setups similar to the apartment setup, but with, for instance, residential application. We're also considering moving over to commercial and industrial. If you have any thoughts or suggestions, please go over to our social media page and let us know. You can head over to our store page to find more specific items that you think might suit your business. Note that we do offer reduced rates for individuals and we're often running specials. We'll see you in the next video.